What's going on you guys? Welcome Whoa. back to the channel. So in today's vlog, we got an install going on and I'm super excited because it's some interior pieces. When I saw this uh, come up on social media, I thought, why not? I ended up buying some carbon fiber pieces for the inside. Some of you guys may know him, Kevin Vo. He used to be the guy for FT Speed and Subi Speed and doing all the installs for those guys, but he kind of branched off, does his own thing on YouTube. And then he also runs this company called Driven Media. So uh, he came out with some carbon fiber pieces. I thought that it was actually pretty affordable. It looked pretty nice and I, I thought why not? So definitely I'm very excited to open these up. But before we do that, I also realized that in the last couple vlogs, I never addressed the issue that we were having with the fueling. I know that it was a kind of a big video and I kind of left it a little short ended. So definitely I got a couple little small clips showing that we had to switch out a couple parts uh, in the fueling section and then David from Cormotive ended up making us like a fender liner uh, kind of piece on this side of the fueling area to kind of cover up the uh, filter that's right here so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the video of when I went to go uh, pick up the car and he kind of shows what was really going on there was like a lot of rain that was still like left over and uh, we didn't have to change everything but we definitely had to change like a couple parts um, I'm really happy that we didn't have to change the most important part which was the the fuel pump modular and that was the most expensive part so it saved us on labor and it saved us on parts so definitely I'm gonna drop that clip right here right now and by the time you guys get back I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box and see what we get from my boy Kevin Vo and Driven Media so see you guys in a moment that is crazy yeah you guys gonna see but there was a lot of water that came out of there oh my gosh oh my god <laughs> <That's insane. laughs> and then just the corrosion in there that is crazy if this thing's heavy yeah so this thing inside has carbon like charcoal really right? and so it's supposed to hold vapor oh, not liquid liquid <laughs> deteriorates the whole thing uh, yeah so so, sponges so basically it was kind of like bringing stuff yeah. out like that you know yeah so like when you weigh this compared to the, the new one this guy is like almost two pounds more heavier what the hell yeah it's a like a big amount normally we weigh them for like gas like liquid fuel yeah but but it was like it, half a pound but it that. weighed more because of the because uh, moisture yeah right? moisture in it. ah i see yeah so. Dude, that's so crazy. Yeah. Wow. Welcome back, you guys. So, like I said, as you guys saw, there was still rainwater trapped within some of those parts, you guys. I'm very glad that we're finally able to pump gas in like normal and we don't have to like stand there and hold the freaking nozzle the whole time we're trying to put gas so anyways i got this open now you guys wanted to share the unboxing with you first thing that uh came up my boy sent a little thank you no that's what's up kevin vote thanks for personally signing that all right so we got a carbon fiber part for the air vents kind of see that the uh 3m is kind of coming off a little bit so hopefully it's still st Sticks. The weaves look pretty good. All right, so I ended up pulling them all out the box just because I felt like it'd be easier. But we ended up getting the center console piece. So this basically would go where do you put your money and then you would have your track mode or traction control button right here. So I thought this would be pretty nice. It looks pretty good. Same thing. Obviously it comes with some 3M on there already. So it's obviously an overlay, uh, but like I said, the weaves are actually looking pretty nice. Doesn't look, you know, cheap. And like I said, it's super freaking light. And then we have the gauge section. So I thought this is actually super freaking cool when I saw it. Um, like I said, this is all pretty new. He just like came out with this stuff and I like hopped on it pretty quickly. It looks pretty freaking good. Like I said, all comes with 3M on there. And then right here is for the shifter area. This comes with 3M already too. And like I said, they're all overlays. So my reasoning for doing the overlays rather than doing like complete replacement parts is the fact that if you didn't do the overlays, you might have to do some like modifications to uh, the full replacement part. And I kind of didn't want to have to deal with that. And uh, like I said, I thought that when Kevin Vo posted it, it was a good opportunity for me to kind of support him um, along with, you know, his company Driven Media. Um, but not only that, uh, it, 
you know, I thought it looked pretty good and uh, it came at a good price. So those are kind of somewhat of my reasons on kind of going the overlay route. Uh, like I said, mainly because I just didn't want to have to make any modifications to a full replacement part. He had a couple more options. Uh, like he had like the carbon fiber dome light uh, area. And then uh, I think he had something else. I, I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, he had the air vent in the center console as well that's on top so i didn't really want to go with those yet i kind of wanted to check these out and see where we're at um like i said so it was affordable but you know each one of these parts got, they all kind of came out to like around 400 bucks and uh free shipping so just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a range of that so let's go ahead and open up the car up and uh start putting these parts on so i figured because we're on the passenger side already we'll go ahead and start on the uh passenger side air vent um let's see here it looks pretty self-explanatory right so this little corner right here looks like it fits in right here so we just got to kind of take off all the uh 3m tape right here and then uh fit it in i don't think to be honest with you i don't think it's like one of those like that you would normally do on like um you know say like a spoiler or something right where you would like take off a little bit of the 3m tape uh at the edge put it on and then take it off once you kind of have it on where you want it um this just the dimension this the the way that it's formed seems like you kind of need to like take it all off at once and then kind of place it on so that's basically how i'm gonna go about it we got the first everent cover on there and uh it fit like a glove honestly I'm, I'm gonna tell you that right freaking now like literally like a like perfect freaking fit very very easy to throw on there you could literally take off all the tape uh that's what i did uh and kind of just uh, slap it right on there and it fits like very very well so um i already like kind of held it down for like a little bit damn that looks good compared to that to the normal one yeah for sure a lot better all right so i wanted to kind of show you guys for example like what i mean by like it fits on like a glove and uh let's go ahead now, i'm gonna go ahead and record and put this on at the same time here and that's kind of what I mean by like, yo, like fits like a glove and it's on there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Like it's legit, like around the whole freaking thing. Like I said, it like fit perfectly as you guys saw right now. Uh, obviously you want to, you know, make sure that you're guiding this section right here kind of like mainly first and then everything else would just kind of fall in. So let's hold on to this for like couple seconds and then let's move on to the center console i want to show you guys that because i thought it was super easy super cool all right you guys so three more pieces to go i figured uh we can go ahead and go from top to bottom so this is what this part's gonna look like and so like i said i'll go ahead take off the tip of this and we'll kind of work our way down as you guys can see we got this on and uh, i would say definitely try to uh, start from this area another little tip or thing that I think would actually probably help is if you have like some type of like heat gun or maybe like I don't know like a blow dryer or whatever basically something that we, you can kind of heat up the uh, 3m tape um, that definitely would help so uh, I'm kind of thinking I, I'm kind of thinking I really hope that it gets kind of hot in here so then that way it does kind of heat this up and I can kind of like just tack it a little bit more down into place so um, you know what I really mean is like just this like skinny area right here that's like doing this it's kind of bugging me mentally um, and then like just these little sections right here but other than that it fits on pretty well you see how it kind of wraps around the ignition area pretty well and then uh, around all the other turn knobs and stuff so yeah that looks good all right so on to this section right here we finally got this piece on so I will say that uh, not too sure why but the 3m that they uh, provided um, it wasn't staying down right here, so luckily I had my own 3M, um, and I kind of just 
put another piece uh, on top of what uh, they already had right here because this part was kind of lifting up and I know that that would have drove me insane. So definitely, I'm glad that I had some extra 3M. If you guys have like a heat gun or something like that for sure, it would probably help to tack all this down a little bit better. So um, keep that in mind um, when you guys are installing this. All right, last but not least, I'm actually pretty excited for this section right here because I think it's going to look super dope. A couple little coins. I finally got this last overlay in there. Impressions, it looks fucking good. It looks really good. Like, everything up in here, like, is exactly how I wanted it to, like, flow. I will say that I had to kind of hold down this, this section right here. Uh, because it kept kind of like pulling up a little bit and then this section up here So when you definitely when you put this on guide yourself on this side first and then kind of wrap it over um, And then like this is kind of one of the sections. I kind of don't like right here. Look Can you guys hear that? It's like not all the way down um, so it's a little bit irritating, but for the most part it's on there very happy with it shout out to Kevin Vo Like I said for getting this out and uh, for making these um, Definitely it's nice to you know put a little bit spiciness on the interior um, You know, I never really had anything carbon fiber in any of my cars like this or anything like that uh, So it's 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 cool. It's different and um, like I said, I like it. Hopefully you guys like it, too. If not, well, well, I like it. <laughs>so it's currently the next day you guys i figured i would follow up with this vlog for the events we got going on this saturday so today we're actually going to be heading to dustin williams charity event it's actually kind of funny because it's in ontario and we're going to be there tomorrow for slammed enough but right now we're meeting up with our boy johnny uh he's the one with the blue uh s2k one of two body kits i think in america or in the world i think in america so he's one of two so we're meeting him up right now at his place Gosh, it's so hard to shift with one hand. <laughs> oh, gotta make it right here. That should be fun. Look <laughs> at my dude already ready, man. <laughs> oh, you're already ready to go. <laughs> Alright, I'll turn around and follow you. Alright. All right. Dude, his tail lights are so freaking sick. I don't see many with those tail lights. Oh man. And just his body kit. Body kit is just so freaking aggressive. This is why my boy freaking gets all the trophies, you know. <laughs> Looks like we're pulling up. Seems like everybody's in line right here. Kind of waiting in line now, uh, as you can see. Okay. Hey, this guy looks familiar, man. <laughs> What's up, Doug? What's going on, man? Dog? What the fuck? Yeah, man. Had to do it to him, man. Awesome, I saw your red. I was like, I gotta go red too. I gotta tell you, it was the next car I got in. Oh, no way. Got another one? Let's go. Yo, Brandon showed me his new car. Wow. Wow. That's all I got to say. Congrats, dude. I can't wait to see it in person, man. You guys, my, my dude Sam changed his exhaust on this. And uh, we went to uh, Escondido. He didn't want to. He didn't want to bring it to Escondido because he felt like it was too loud. He wanted to get stopped by the cops, but uh, yeah, that thing's way louder. It is. Yeah, I, I see what you mean now. So that's the wing, you got the new wing. Oh dude, yeah, whoa, I didn't even notice. Yo, this looks so crazy. Yeah, just like his first one, right? Damn. That's what the titanium is for. I was about to say, yeah, that looks freaking good yeah, with the, with really the bolts good. right What's here. That? This right here. The wing, yeah. Oh, they both just came in. The Bulking wing and right the wing right here. yesterday. Bulked oh, up. Yeah. Bulked up. Bulked up when he came by. When all the boys show up. Look at this good looking right. guy right here, man. Uh, 
How you doing? <laughs> dude, I can see your car from afar. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled in, I was like, dude, Tyler's here, man. Yeah. We're all set up over there, parked up now, and uh, you know, Tyler got his, right, his tacos. Baby. Guy's been hungry since <laughs> last night. <laughs> so, now we're kind of in the back space. It's a little hot out here. I want to go and get some shade for a little bit, so. Uh, Pick a nice hot day to come out here and do a car. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even summertime yet, that's yeah. so crazy, dude. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go inside, see what's up in there, see who's racing, get a, get a little cooled off, and then I'll come back out here and I'll show you guys some of the really dope builds that uh, have pulled up along my boy Tyler's. <laughs> so I'll see you guys right now in a little bit. Funny fact, I never actually raced at K1 Speedway, even though like I passed by my whole life. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> Definitely need to make it a thing to kind of come out with some friends and kind of just uh, have a good time, do a couple runs. Uh, I'm really interested <laughs> now more than ever, uh, just because uh, I figured out obviously, and I figured this out a couple years ago that if you want to like get into F1 as a kid or whatever, you know, you would start off go karting, and it is it is expensive uh, sport uh, to keep up uh, for your kid, but I think it's so cool, and I just. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I'm pretty sure a lot of people think this. I think I'm a good driver. I think I'm a really great driver, uh, above average than most. So <laughs> I kind of want to test my skills uh, at some small, some of the small like K1. So we've seen this before, right? Uh, last time we seen this, I believe we were at the Fujiwara Cafe. Uh, definitely, my boy tracks this thing. It's got some Mazenis on there. Okay, it's clean, clean for the track. Oh look, that's tight. He has the tracks that he's been on right here. It's pretty dope. This one's super dope too. Okay, he tracks it hey, occasionally well, maybe. Uh, oh, this is cool. Yeah. A little carbon fiber centerpiece right here. What, is, what I think is cool is like, obviously we have like Sam's over there and like I get to kind of compare like the differences between setups. Oh, he has a carbon diffuser as well. That's pretty sick. Looks like kind of the same type of style on the exhaust as Sam too, as we've seen earlier. This is super dope. This carbon hood. It's really nice. Showcasing the, uh, the strut bar here. Wonder how it doesn't rain. <laughs> and then of course we have the two showstoppers, John Fob, my boy from Gifted. We have his NSX, which is crazy. Remember the last time in the last video, if you guys watched the last video. My boy actually didn't have, he was running no freaking exhaust back here, and so that's why it was so freaking loud. But now he has a center exit exhaust, and uh, I wonder if he switched the diffuser because he said it was a little low. But uh, it, wow, the exhaust looks so freaking good. I've never seen a center exit exhaust on this. Then he also changed this as well. Uh, damn, we were just talking about this, and finally he changed it. That was fast. Uh, this was the OEM one, but now he has the carbon one, which looks so much freaking better for sure. Obviously, as you guys can see, how much everyone gathers around this car. Like I said, it's freaking showstopper over here. Uh, that's definitely something that a lot of people don't get to see. So this is pretty cool, you guys. Me recording the, them in their vlog, and you guys are going to see that in my vlog, and I'm going to see that in their vlog, and it was kind of cool, yeah? <laughs> All right, Dustin with the AE86 SBs. That's cool. Another one over here that I think is super dope, even though it's not as like pretty as some of these other ones, uh, is this freaking Evo over here. Oh my gosh, you guys! Like, I just think that these cars are so freaking dope. Um, obviously, the Evo 5 is you know becoming legal now. And just the front end is just so freaking aggressive and just what you were able to do with these cars at the time like I hope we get to see a lot more of them over here in the States um, now that the uh, Evil 5 is out but just the the, the fog lights it just really draws me in every single time I see this like, and then we got my boy Brandon super over here Jeez. like I said my boy got something coming for later this year super excited for you my guy so apparently they're doing like the raffling and probably like awards and stuff like that so it's really cool is uh, all of Dustin's freaking cars over here just lined up it's R33 
like the Millennium Jade. Oh my God, it's cool is that uh, this Millennium Jade he actually was able to do right before uh, they actually came out with the 2023 model and they did a Millennium Jade coming out with the 2023 model. So that's pretty cool that he did it before then. Original Evo from Tokyo Drift. That's a car still super freaking dope. And then his little proto. <laughs> Sardines, baby. Look at him huddling right now, trying to get to yeah. as much shade as possible. Sardines. <laughs> Alright, so they didn't do the awards, but uh, I think they were like personally handing out the awards to people. So, yeah, checking your cars, maybe, you know, you find something nice, you know. <laughs> yeah, end of the show. We got an early morning tomorrow. Everybody on the team. Definitely, if you guys are watching this, uh, probably won't come out until a little, little bit later. Uh, but if you guys show up to Slammed Enough, uh, we'll be there. Have a good time, like it always is. These guys pulling up, fashion, don't us. fashionably late. Y'all don't invite us. We're I know. not part of Gifted. We're not cool enough. <laughs> We're not cool oh enough. my god. I, I told Tyler, I was like, dude, I feel bad. I didn't fucking invite Polly. It's okay. We got real JDM cars over here. <laughs> not the fake pandas. <laughs> yeah. Hella like this R32, you guys. Like I said, next car we get is probably going to be 90 JDM car. Just so many options. Don't really know what yet. But yeah, it's going to be one of them. Got my eyes on a couple already. So, anyways, the event was cool. Thanks a lot to Dustin for putting this on. A lot of homies kind of came through. Uh, obviously we saw Polly kind of pull up a little late, but it's all good. So yeah, now we just kind of call it and uh, go home, eat, rejuvenate, edit this vlog for you guys. 